Hi, I'm Purdue County Systems, and today we're going to be creating a Bantam banner. And so what I brought with me today is a blank banner, and we'll go ahead and we'll do the assembly at the very last step. The image we're going to display, some Condi Ditrans Pro Spray. I use scissors to cut out my image, sticky lint roller, and a couple sheets of protective paper. What we're going to do first is get ready to pre-press our item. And before we do, uh, when you receive your banner, you'll have a thin thread holding all of the frills on the bottom together. We recommend that you keep it that way, at least for pressing purposes, and it's very easy to let go and have it all hang nice at the very end at the final product. So we'll move over to our press and place a sheet of protective paper down on the bottom. Grab our banner. And when we do the pre-press, and the press for that matter, we're going to make sure that we hang the frills on the side of the press. We're going to make sure that they don't come in contact with the heat. They are sublimatable, so we'll be careful when we apply our image. But we want to make sure that we keep this area nice and protected. I'll grab my sticky lint roller. Sticky lint roll our banner. Add another sheet of protective paper. And we're only going to be pressing one side of the banner, so make sure you go ahead and you're doing the shiny side of the banner, the one that's actually going to get the image applied. Keeping our frills off the edge of our press, we're going to do a quick 10 second pre-press. Once we finish with our pre-press, we'll move back over to our table. And we're going to sticky lint roll one more time just to make sure that we remove any excess lint or anything that can distort our image. And we'll let the banner be able to fully cool before we actually apply our image. With the image itself that we're going to be doing today, you'll notice that we have the white space on the outside. Find that it's easier with lining it up against the frills on the bottom. You want to make sure that we don't have any of the inks transfer onto the little decor on the bottom. So we find that it's easiest if you don't do a full bleed and if you do, make sure you're very careful about that line because it can transfer ink. And then also today we're going to be using dye trans paper and we do recommend that you only use that. Lightly miss our transfer and we'll be able to apply it to our banner. And the Pro Spray will make sure that you can get all of your corners nice and smooth. And if it's not just right, you can move it again if you have to. But you can see just how nice it really holds the banner on there. And now we're ready to go to the press. So we'll open our press back up, grab our protective paper with our flag already on it. You'll notice that the transfer itself is face down. Bring it over to the edge. Make sure that we're not going to press any of the yellow. Add another sheet of protective paper on the top. And we'll go ahead and we'll do, it's about a 60 second pre-press using 400 degrees. And that sound means we're done. So let's lift and swing away on our press. We'll quickly remove the transfer and we'll give it enough time to cool. Oh, that looks great. It shouldn't be too long, it is pretty thin, so it will only take a few seconds, and then we'll go ahead and we'll finish the assembly. Now that our flag is cooled, we can go ahead and remove that bottom thread that's holding all the little tassels together. You'll notice that it's just a slightly different color, it's almost like purple, but once you pull on one side, it's loose, you'll be able to just to have them all come apart. It's very easy to do. And then next we'll Go ahead and we'll thread our rod through. Grab our end pieces so we can hang it. Do the same on both sides. And this will make our banner complete. Today we did a spelling bee. These are great for any kind of awards. School functions like the spelling bee, renaissance fairs, shops, any kind of signage. These are nice little products and we hope to have some more sizes for you available as well. 
for all of our products and services, be sure to check out our website at Condi.com and watch more of my videos at ConditV.com. I'm Bernardo Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us. Thank you.